job is a veritable gold mine of this. Short version is I help disabled people keep their jobs. Most people realize this quickly, so they either ask someone else or ask my client. Sometimes they respond a bit less well. I will be being very vague as to my location to protect my job and sensitive information. So I'm in a movie theater and my client takes tickets. They are capable and fully understand their job. However, basically everything hit the fan this shift. And that's why I'm there, to help them deal with problems they're ready for. Specifically a natural disaster. This delays all the movies, some by 45 minutes to an hour. My client is standing behind the podium in uniform. I'm in khaki shorts and an Overwatch tee. A man in a Captain America shirt approaches us and attempts to hand me his ticket. No problem. I point him to client. This happens a lot. I'll be me. Client will be C. Customer will be Cap. Me, pointing to C. Cap attempts to hand me ticket again. Me, I'm sorry, I can't take your ticket. I don't work here. Cap, well, why are you behind the podium? Me, I'm not. C is. Cap, you're standing next to C, so are you supposed to help them? Well, technically this is true. I do not directly do people's jobs, and this client needed help in a different way, so I'm not saying yes. Me, nope. C, can I take your ticket, please? Cap, fine. C, I'm sorry, sir, your movie has been delayed by... Looks at me. Looks at ticket. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Cap, upon hearing me, know that apparently lost vocal control and eventually sputtered out to me. I, I, I want to see your manager. Me. Okay, but well you'll have to go three towns over and wait a week. They both don't work here, and they're on vacation. See, he doesn't work here, sir. Cap finally stops and just pulls a... Uh, okay. And our second story. The day I got fired. Walmart is an amazing place, isn't it? That seems to be the case. As a day ago, I found myself in a very peculiar situation. I was poking around an aisle looking for some baby wipes, diapers, the usual, but I was soon approached by a gangly, gaunt-looking fellow with a yellow shirt that said, Storm. What the hell are you doing? He asked me. As he looks at me, I look at him. I'm sure a tender, non-verbal woman. What the hell are you doing? He asked again. At this point, I was sitting there, tic-tac idling in my mouth, trying to figure out why Skinny Pete was accosting my taste in pampers. What? I finally managed to ask. Why aren't you at the registers? Here's where I will admit I was involved. I actually did kind of look like an employee without a vest. After a brief moment, I sputtered out a meat butt to the point, I'm getting baby wipes? Oh, you're getting baby wipes, is that right? You know who else gets baby wipes? Customers. Register. Go. Again, we stare a 30 second or so exchange of me looking to him. Then the basket in my hand. Then in my shoes. Back to him. I don't think... I don't care what you think. You shouldn't care what you think. He got really close to me now. I could smell the disapproving pain in his eyes as he spoke in a guttural whisper. Listen, babe. Maybe you're new to this. Christmas season, you know, the time when we have a crap ton of customers poured into buying crappy plastic toys for their sticky little jerk beans. Yeah, that's happening right now. And you're sitting here effing around with your GD baby wipes when we have three open registers. Maybe you haven't considered this, but other people work here too, and it isn't their job to pander fake smiles to fat old ladies and fat old men and blue scooters full of peppermint sticks and Christmas every cheer. So get to the register! I had to get home. If I had more time, I like to think that I would have let him out a bit, since I'm a bad person, but I had to make it. I don't work here, name on the nameplate. His eyes shot out of his head like cannonballs. His little lip whiskers stood on end, and he turned inside out before he yelled at me, You're having right! You don't, because you're fired. Take your epic baby wipes and get out! Thanks for nothing, a-hole! He stormed off, shoving a diaper bag onto the floor. Out of view, I heard a hasty, Oh, crap! F! Oh, F me! as he rushed off. In all honesty, I kind of feel bad for the guy. I can totally imagine he'd been having a terrible past couple of days in a terribly undermanned store, and he finally just snapped. He was admirably articulate angry, and the little tinge of the regretful realization as he wandered off into the hellish void of stock shelves makes me feel...